we live? We are. Hi. <laughs> Hi, happy Saturday to everybody. Thank you for joining me. Uh, I'm going to do my shoulder workout. Today is Saturday, five weeks in lockdown, and I've been doing pretty good. Uh, it's not easy to get the workout in at home because there's so many distractions, but uh, when I'm dragging, I remind myself how important it is and that I have to practice what I preach and I get it done. And I'm always so much happier after I do it. And um, I hope that you're able to keep moving forward, to stay focused on your health and fitness and that you're able to uh, carve out a piece of time every single day to take care of yourself. I'm doing that. I'm totally committed to doing that. And that's why I'm sharing my live workouts with you. I hope that we can lift each other up in the process. <laughs> so, um, hello. Thank you for joining me. Hi, Junie. It's great to see you. Um, I'm looking forward to checking in on you and seeing how you're doing. Uh, today I'm doing shoulders. That's my normal rotation for workouts. This is the second time I've shared a shoulder workout from the home gym setup with you. And so what I want to do is I want to share some different exercises from the first workout that I showed you because shoulders, um, is you know you have three the three heads of your shoulders and there's a lot of variety that you can use that i like to use when i go into the gym um and it makes it interesting and what it does is it keeps your body progressing because you're not doing the same things over and over and over again and expecting different results because that's not how it works you have to use some confusion. So I'm excited to show you uh, four or five exercises that are different from what I did last time. And it's just a variation on a theme. And so I'm gonna get right into it. And then I wanna to talk to you and uh, field your questions and get your feedback and all that good stuff, okay? Are you in? Yeah, okay. I better put my coffee cup down. Oh, it's so good. I love my coffee. Okay, so down with the coffee cup. Okay, so I have, uh, I have a variety of dumbbells and I have a barbell. And I keep cleaning out the garage and finding more equipment that I'm so happy that I had, that I forgot about. Um, and today I'm going to start with the shoulder military press. And I'm gonna use a barbell, but you can use dumbbells for this. And the shoulders have three heads, right? It's like a, a cap. Can you see that, that cap? It's like a cap, right? The shoulder cap. So you have the front, you have the side, you have the rear delt. So you have three heads. And I wanna emphasize the importance of focusing on doing all three of those heads so that you get a well-balanced workout for your shoulders and well-balanced results, right? So I'm gonna start with a press, a military press that's gonna work the front head of my shoulders. Are you ready? Ready? All right, let me grab my barbell. Let me grab my barbell. And do, oh, this feels good. Just holding the weight feels good. And I'm gonna get into a shoulder press movement, shoulder width apart with my hands. And all I'm doing is pressing overhead. This is called a military press. I'm gonna do 12 reps. Ah, I lied, I'm gonna do three more. Here's the military press from the side. 
Oh my God, that feels so good. You have no idea how good that feels. Okay. So, a press. Pressing movements are an essential movement for building great shoulders. So I just did a set of 15 repetitions, which represents a warm-up set for me for my delts targeting the front delt. See that? Good so far? Good? <laughs> So the first exercise for me today is military press. I'm gonna do four sets of military presses with the barbells, starting with 15 repetitions for my first set is a warm up, lightweight. Then I'm gonna increase the weight incrementally. And then I'm gonna do my second set and my third set and my fourth set, increasing the weight incrementally, dropping the number of repetitions that I do with every single set because it's getting heavier, okay? And I'm gonna fatigue my delt. So for me, it would be four sets, 15, 12, 10, eight. That's how I would traditionally train so that I'm getting a good workout and I'm also working towards building muscle and building strength because that's my goal, okay? Now, if you're just getting started and you haven't been doing any working out, and you're gonna get your toes in the water. Start maybe with real light weight, two sets. 15 repetitions, nice and light. Next one, 12 repetitions, nice and light. Just to get yourself going, okay? We'll talk more about that in a minute. Are you with me? Yeah. <laughs> Hi, James. Hi, Brandon. Hi, Rex. <laughs> Hi, Judy Law. Okay, so I'm gonna do my next exercise and then I'm gonna talk to you guys, all right? So don't go anywhere. Thank you for being with me. So the next exercise I'm gonna do is a frontal raise. Frontal raise, so I'm going from presses to a frontal raise. And you could do this with dumbbells or you could do it with a barbell. It's great to have that variation. Uh, that's also true of like a military style press. You can use barbells or you can use dumbbells. And shoulders are such a great workout because you can, they're pretty easy to do at home. So it's, it's a good workout. It's a good work to do at home. Um, I'm gonna do the barbell frontal raises, okay? And, the, and what I want to emphasize to you when you do this exercise to keep the emphasis on the delts is to try to have a little bit of a bend in your arm. I shared that last time. I'm going to reinforce that. And to think about keeping your wrist down instead of up, okay? The normal reaction is that when you're lifting the bar, you're going to want to turn your wrist up to help you get that bar or dumbbell up. But really, if you keep your wrist pointed down, palms down, you're gonna feel more of an, of an emphasis on the muscle bellies that you're working on, which in this case is shoulders, okay? So I'm gonna do a set. for the frontal raises, shoulder width apart. That feels so good. Now, if you notice, to grunt I'm trying real hard real hard to keep that wrist and palm down so that my delts 
get the most benefit from the exercise in every single repetition. I bring it up slightly over shoulder and back down again. And when I'm coming down, I'm controlling it. I'm sort of fighting it down a little bit so that the muscle gets a really good contraction. It gets a contraction and then the muscle fibers come apart on the eccentric part of the, the exercise and do a little bit of tearing of those muscles. And that's how muscles grow. Okay, I'll get into that separately. So, thank you for joining me. Happy Saturday to you all. Uh, thank you for hanging out with me for the shoulder workout. I just did military presses with the barbell. I just did frontal raises with the barbell. You can do dumbbell. You can do that with dumbbells. You can do it alternating. You could use kettlebells. You can do them together. Either way. And I would change it up every time I did a, a workout, by the way. Either way you do it, it's an excellent delt workout and exercise. And for me, at the level that I'm at, I do four sets. Same set uh, repetition and set sequence as I do with the shoulder presses. And I'll put all of this in the description so that you guys can see exactly how I train, okay? Sound good? Hi, Marche, thanks for joining me. Okay, so, here, shoulder flex, shoulder flex, shoulder flex, shoulder flex. Um, so that's two exercises down, okay? Presses, funnel raises, and now I want to focus on the lateral head of the delt because we're going to go around, right? We're going to go front, lateral, rear. Make sure we get all three, all three heads for a complete workout. And then I'm going to work traps to finish off my workout, okay? So now I'm going to go to the lateral head, and that means I need to do some sort of a lateral movement right? I could do dumbbells standing or seated, small variation. I can do a kettlebell lateral swing. If I'm in the gym, I'm using cables. Um, these are all just variations on the same theme. Today, because I have this awesome little piece of equipment, this bench, I'm going to show you. Hang on, I'm just going to tilt this. Come on down. Okay. Okay. So I have this awesome little bench here that I got a while back. This is actually a gift. I can turn this into a seated or an incline bench. This bench is so awesome so that I can do rear delt and or lateral raises. And what I'm gonna do using this incline position, grab a 10 pound dumbbell. I'm gonna use a 10 pound dumbbell. I'm gonna do a sim single arm lateral raise by positioning myself on this incline. And doing one arm at a time and it's a lateral raise off the bench single arm who's counting oh my god that feels so good okay so I'm doing my lateral raise off the bench. Can you see that working? And it's just a variation of a theme of lateral raises, okay? And of course, what you do to one side, you have to do to the other.
get myself into position here and do this side. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, that feels so good. In this position, I'm doing the same thing I did for the frontal. I'm keeping a slight bend in my elbow and my wrist face down, not up, okay? Down, so that all of the focus, most of it goes on the delt, the side delt. Got that? Yes? Now, if you don't have a bench that you can put into an inclined position, you can do the same thing flat. I'm going to show you. Take a light dumbbell and position yourself off of a flat bench as if it was an incline. It's the same exact thing. Got it? Single arm, lateral raise on an incline position, okay? And that's just showing you a variation on how to do a lateral raise for your, for your side delt, okay? Got it? Hi, Kevin. Hi, Ali. This bench is so awesome, especially now that I really need it. I'm really happy I have it. So, um, okay, so just to recap, right? We're doing delts. By the way, thank you for joining me. Thank you for giving me your time. I'm looking forward to answering your questions and talking to you more. I just want to get through the exercises for anybody who's interested in just sort of getting the facts on what I'm doing. And then, you know, they got other stuff to do. Um, so hang out for a couple minutes after I'm done with this exercise and we can wrap a little bit. Um, if you like my channel, please subscribe, like the uh, video, and comment uh, so that I can have discussions with you. Um, military presses, frontal raise with the bar, and then single arm lateral raise. That's exercise number three, right? Now we worked the front side and now we have to, uh, we have to get to the rear delt. Very, very important. So to do the rear delt, I'm going to use the same bench. Let's see if I can adjust you. Just so. To do the rear, the rear delt, you can do standing, seated, you can do a bent over lateral raise to work the rear delt, the rear head of your deltoids, okay? I'm going to use this bench because I have it. I'm going to put it in an incline position and then I'm going to do rear delt, very small movement using this bench and getting the benefit out of having another angle to work with. I'm going to show you what that looks like. In the gyms, you probably have seen people doing this exercise, right? In a gym, using an inclined bench on a 45 degree angle. I need two dumbbells. So I'm gonna grab my second dumbbell and I'm gonna get into position to do my rear delt using this bench on an incline. Make sure we can. I 
11, 12. Results. Rear delt, right here, the back head of the deltoid, doing all the work and getting a great pump. Now, I just used 10 pound dumbbells for that, okay? And the thing about the rear delt is that, you know, these are relatively small muscles. When you're isolating them the way I'm doing, you don't need a lot of weight. You don't need a lot of poundage, okay? Five pounds to get started. And if you're doing it the right way and you're really focused on making sure the deltoid, the rear deltoid specifically, is isolated, you're gonna feel an incredible pump in that small piece of your shoulder uh, muscle, okay? So, 10 pounds. If you're just getting started out, depending on your fitness level, maybe you use two pounds, maybe you use five pounds, maybe you use 10 pounds, okay? The amount of weight is not what's important. The range of motion, the isolation, the contraction is what's important. The strength comes later, it's strength building, right? That's exactly what we're doing. So we're building your strength, building your muscles, maintaining uh, all the, Incredible life in your body is what we're doing. Okay, so are you with me so far? Are you with me? Thank you for joining me. The form is so important. You know, one of the greatest compliments that I get from people when I'm working out in the gym is wow, great form. Uh, that's one of the greatest compliments you could get because form will inform your success. You, anybody can lift weights, right? But that doesn't mean you're building muscle, right? Isolation is really important and the amount is secondary. How much you lift, poundage is secondary to how you do it. If you're doing the exercise properly, you're gonna get all the benefits that you are working so hard for. If you do it incorrectly, you're not gonna get the benefits that you're looking for and you're working so hard for and you just might injure yourself, which is the worst part of doing it incorrectly. All right, and then that really sets you back and we don't wanna go there at all. So that's why form is a big thing. Um, hi, Tina. Hi, Ruben. <laughs> hi, George. Hey James, Christopher, thank you so much for joining me. Bruce, Rolando. So, so I just did rear delt. It's a variation, again, a variation on a, on a theme. And I did it on the incline using lightweight dumbbells to get a really great pump. Okay, I'm gonna show off here, yeah, I'm gonna show off. Can I show off? There's that rear delt, see that? Look at the rear delt, you can actually see it, okay? That's the muscle we're working with the last exercise that I did, okay? And a great stretch for the rear delt is extending your arm in front of you and pushing in with the elbow and you get a nice stretch on that rear delt, okay? So that was exercise number, what did I do? Military, frontal, uh, lateral. Now I'm going to move to traps and what i'm going to do is last time i did shrugs i'm going to do upright rows which is another great shoulder exercise you can do it with a barbell you can do it with dumbbells hell you could do it with two gallons of milk if you want to and if that's what you have available to you uh so i'm going to move this and i'm going to show you uh upright row great exercise. Then I'm going to use the barbell again, but you can do this with dumbbells. Back up, back up, back. Okay, here we go. An upright row. I'm going to take a slightly closer grip for the upright row. 
And all I'm doing is bringing the bar up. to around my shoulder height. Now notice, elbows up, wrists face down, okay? It's a great exercise that works your delts, and also involves your traps, which is uh, the combination I do when I do my shoulder work, and I do a shoulder and trap combination when I train delts. I'm gonna adjust this. So I can talk to you better. There, so the upright rows the inclination would be to bring the forearms up higher, but you really want to try to let the elbows be the highest point when you do the upright rows. And again, notice how I keep my wrist face down as opposed to wrist up, okay? That's going to make a big difference on where the emphasis goes in the delt exercise in your workout. Okay, got that? Yes? <laughs> So, um, there you have it. I just did, um, I gave you the cycle of the exercises that I'm gonna do for today's shoulder workout. Okay, I did the military press, upright rows, lateral, rear delt on the incline, and then I just did upri uh, the upright rows. That's five exercises for delts and traps. And I hit all three heads on the shoulder, and I also work my traps. Now for me, I'm gonna do on average four sets of every single one of those exercises, okay? And I'll give you my rep set, set sequence in the comments. What I'll do is I'll put it in the description so you know exactly what my shoulder workout looks like in case you wanna follow my shoulder workout and I'll give you an idea of the weights that I'm using as well and how I decrease the repetitions, increase the weight incrementally, okay? Um, I'm gonna grab my bench here so I can talk to you and say hi, thank you for joining me. Uh, thank you for giving me your time and for hanging out with me. I can see your questions now, and I'd love to answer any questions you have. Uh, um, hold on. I'm going to adjust this. I'm going to adjust you so I can see you. George, I th I th th thank you for that. I appreciate the super chat. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you all for uh, spending time with me and um, giving me your time and watching my videos and commenting and liking. And uh, if you like my channel, please subscribe. I could use your support. And um, your comments are incredibly valuable to me. Uh, you, you allow me to get a better sense of who you are um, and uh, what you're interested in. And it gives me a focus for my lives and my videos. So, so please share with me. So thank you, George. I appreciate that. I really appreciate that. Hi, Vinay. Hi, man. Hi, chumps. Thank you so much. So does anybody have any questions related to the workout, to the shoulder workout? Or should I just start flexing? And just 360?
Superfly, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Um, how are you? How are you all doing? Are you able to stay focused on getting workouts in? Are you just starting out with your workouts? Um, I, I know it must be a struggle um, for many of you. Um, you know, as far as equipment and how to keep focused, and there's so many distractions. Thank you. Brandon's got a question. Okay, so do I hold the muscle to shock them for added growth? I don't while I'm doing the actual exercise and my repetitions, Brandon, but what I like to do is I like to do a set, whatever set it is. Oh my God, Rolando, thank you so much for that support. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you so much. Um, uh, Brandon, what I like to do is I like to do my repetitions and I'm very focused on the concentric con contraction of the exercise repetition while I'm doing it. And I control the weight, right? I don't let momentum control what's happening with my movement. I want the muscle to do all the work. After I've done my set, then I will hold a flex for that muscle group. In this case, it would be a delt pose, right? I'll hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. And what I'm doing is uh, I'm kind of adding isometrics to my workout set after set. And that allows for more blood flow. I maintain the blood flow in the muscle belly. It expands the fascia, which keeps the muscle nice and tight. And it allows me to get better muscle control, um, deeper separations in the muscle, and a great pump. So that's what I do. I don't hold it while I'm training with weights because I'm kind of focused on building my muscle, maintaining my muscle, and so I'm using pretty solid weight and holding it is not part of my normal workout. I hope that answers your question. How often, here's the question, how often can you work out shoulders? Well, it depends on what your goals are, right? Everybody has different goals and it depends on kind of where you're starting too. If you're just starting out, um, and it all also depends on how many days a week you can devote to it. I personally only train delts uh, and traps one time a week. And I get a good solid shoulder workout and then I let the muscles recover and then I do them again the following week. So I only train delts once a week because I want to maintain growth and muscle size, okay? I'm so glad, Brandon, you know, Brandon just talked about trying to stay focused and how hard and challenging that can be. Staying focused is, challenge, uh, focused is challenging and the best of times because there's so many things happening in our lives and so many distractions. Social media is addicting, all these things. So being focused on staying focused is actually what I do all the time because it's really easy to get distracted. Um, in a way that doesn't really serve you, that doesn't serve you well. So I commend you, Brandon, and all of you who are working on carving out time every single day to take care of yourself. Because if you're not pulled together, if you're not healthy, everything else is gonna go to hell in a handbasket anyway, right? So even if you give yourself 20 minutes a day, do not compromise that time. I would recommend a minimum of 30 minutes a day, but do not compromise yourself. Find a way, force yourself, you know, message me and get it done. Good for you, Brandon, for staying focused. Okay, here's a question. What's my favorite pose down from when I was competing, Christopher? When I was competing? Oh, let's see, my favorite, my favorite. Okay, so from competitions, well, my favorite pose downs, uh, uh, the Miss International, um, of course, the Miss International, uh, let's see, in 03, and the Miss Olympia competition uh, in, 
well also 03 uh, Miss Olympia 04 of those are my favorites because getting to the Miss International getting to the Olympia stage is a is a, the realization of a dream for me um, a dream that I worked really hard to make happen and being on stage with the greatest women bodybuilders in the world at that time standing on stage with Iris Kyle and Linda Murray two of the greatest female bodybuilders in the history of the sport I, I was very happy to be there Juliet Bergman the list goes on so thank you for that question was Paula Suzuki my toughest opponent at yes Paula can I just tell you, Paula is one of the sweetest women you'll ever meet. Um, I got to visit with Paula in Hawaii, uh, where she lived, um, following that competition. And yes, she had a killer back. If you ever want to be motivated by a back, uh, look at Paula Suzuki's back. Unbeatable, unbeatable back. Okay, another question? Jared, oh, so you're going out, it is very stressful, and it's easy to go down a rabbit hole with the news. It's, it's hard. I, it happens to me, too. I'm going to confess to you that sometimes I look at the numbers, I look at the trends, and I, get, I start to get down, and then i got to lift myself back up. So you're not alone, Jared. Uh, if any of you are dealing with that kind of stress and, you know, starting to feel depressed and overwhelmed, I have felt that, too. Um, and, and then I remind myself that nature is really important, it's really healing. Um, so I like to walk outdoors. You might have seen my snail pictures and my duck, duck videos because I, when I realized that tapping into nature is good for me, um, and uh, it helps me a lot psychologically. Walking depends on your goal, right? But when I want to keep my body fat level down, I walk, you know, 50 minutes an hour, fast paced walk, not running, not slow, fast paced walk, 45 minutes, 50 minutes, uh, up to an hour a day is awesome. Minimum depends on where you're starting, what your current health level is, what your current capability is, right? So even if you can do only 15 minutes, do that 15 minutes religiously every day and then every day try to add a little more time and it's just gonna make you feel so much better so much better I hope I answered that question ESPN days uh, Rolando ESPN days of I remember watching a couples competition on ESPN when I was about 16 years old and I knew that I wanted to be on the stage doing that so I'm with you on the ESPN days I miss those days too I'm with you guys George Rolando I'm with you so what's my favorite uh, what's my favorite pose down okay uh, so I think I answered the pose down question how old am I I'm gonna be 52 years old in two weeks I'm aging up. I'm going to be 52 in two weeks. Can you believe it? I think I'm going to switch the candles, although I don't have any candles. And I'm going to put the two ahead of the five, and then I'm just going to celebrate 25 all over again. I'm a young chick. I'm a spring chicken. <laughs> Okay, George, who do I think has the best shoulders in women's division? Bar none, Linda Murray. Linda Murray had like cannonballs on her shoulders. The first time I saw her, I was like, what the hell? Linda Murray, that's my opinion. I'm getting better with time. Thank you. Thank you. So... So why I emphasize strength training is because one of the things about aging is muscle loss, right? We lose our vibrancy. You know, our chemistry changes and strength training 
keeps you alive, keeps your muscles alive, keeps your circulation going, keeps your mind happier. Strength training is so important to longevity and quality of life that it is the one thing, thank you so much for the birthday wish, it is the one thing that I will go to my grave promoting. Strength training for all people of all ages. I'm going to keep saying that until you're sick of hearing me say it. Um, and there, there's, there's a lot of reasons for that. I'm going to do a separate discussion on what happens as we age with muscle loss. Then I will promote that and I hope you join me and I'm going to give you the reasons. I'm going to give you the five reasons why strength training is the one thing that I promote and will always promote and will always practice. That's going to be a follow-up conversation. Any other questions? Anybody? Linda is amazing. Linda is still amazing. Linda is amazing. So once again, I want to thank you for uh, spending time with me, for hanging out with me. Um, I hope that the exercises that I share with you are helpful to you. Uh, I hope that, um, that you will like my videos uh, and that you like me because <laughs> I like you. Um, I hope that you subscribe as well. Um, that's very helpful to me. Please leave comments and questions. I am a little behind in responding to the comments because I've got things coming at me from all angles and I'm trying to keep things moving forward. And um, so please be patient. Uh, I ask you for comments because it's my intention to respond to you. And if you have any questions, bring them on. Um, and uh, and I've, to stay motivated, right? I believe that fun is an essential ingredient in life, right? You have to really, you have to really find the fun. Sometimes it takes more work than others to find it. Um, but it's an essential ingredient for my life. It was something that my mentor uh, taught me. And um, so with that, I'm gonna show you what I mean. I gotta make an adjustment. The other day, I've been looking in my garage, and the other day, I found this. And, um, imagine my surprise and my delight in finding my hula hoop, it's really not mine. Does anybody remember this? <clears throat> anybody remember the hula hoop? <laughs> okay, let's see. Who thinks I can still rock this hula hoop? That's what I want to know. I gotta see say. Who thinks I can still rock the hula hoop? All right, let's see. <clears throat> Are you ready? Okay. Let's see, can I do this? Oh yeah, baby, I sure can. Rock in the hula hoop. <laughs> I feel like one of those hula ladies. I think my next ab workout, 
live broadcast and video is going to include the hula hoop because you can notice I'm a little out of breath right now. <laughs> oh my God, no joke. So go find a hula hoop. Man, woman, and child, okay? Because let me tell you, when you do this, you want to talk about a great core workout? Try it. Report back to me. You can, you can. <laughs> Shahira's with me. Thank you, Shahira. Um, great core workout. Gets the heart rate going, but most of all, brings joy into your life. At least that's what it did for me. And you have to find a way to find the joy, even in the most difficult things. My mentor said that to me many years ago. He said, uh, Denise, even in the biggest challenges of your life, find the joy. Find the joy. Maybe that's where my competitive edge comes in and my determination lives. Find the joy and find the lesson. Um, and it's a part of life. Um, and so I'm going through and I'm finding my joy wherever I can get it. And you're part of that. And I want to thank you for sharing your time with me and making me smile. I hope this is beneficial to you. I look forward to talking to you guys again. We're going to talk about the five reasons why I promote strength training. I'd like to share that with you in a follow-up uh, live broadcast. Please subscribe to my channel, like the video if you like it, leave me a comment, I'd love to hear from you. Um, and please stay pumped. We'll get through this, just like we get through everything else. As my mother always says, this too shall pass. Blessings on blessings to you and yours. I hope you can stay safe. Thank you. I am show off my delts a little bit more. Because what's the point? of being 52 if you can't show it off. What's the point? Love you guys, thank you, thank you, thank you. Stay safe, keep moving, stay pumped. Bye.